Greetings and welcome back to Lords and Villains. I'm Catherine of Skye and our village is progressing quite nicely. Looks like the fishermen are kind of building up their boardwalk here. It's looking good, looking good. And we're having other stuff happening, which is kind of cool. Uh, I would like to um, expand our storage in our warehouse. I think it might be a good idea also maybe to build walls on our warehouse <laughs> as well. Uh, and be the reason for that mostly is so that our people can keep warmer in the wintertime. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's just build kind of borders here for stuff. And we might have to have a little bit of like editing here shortly, but it's okay. Oh, we need a doorway there as well. All right, let's get wooden doors on the corners. And I think we take out this one and that one. We might even want to just like reorganize this entire place. It's a bit haphazard the way the game just like generates this random like stuff here. <laughs> so we might just want to do that. We do have a ton of stone, which is nice. I wish that they would kind of like coordinate it together better because this, this one has 200 of 250 and this one is 165. This one's 230, but there should be actually maybe maybe we need all those jars of stone or whatever they are, uh, little bins or something. But anyway, I want to add a few things. Let's go ahead and do maybe some barrels along the edge here. And let's just do this. We'll do a bunch of barrels. And then I kind of want to organize the rest of this. Let's see. Kind of want to have like aisles in between. So maybe we, I think... Well, I guess the question is, do you lose the stuff if you delete the storage? I don't think you do. I think you keep it. But let's see. Since we have a bunch of ground storage here, I feel like we can do that there. But then I want to kind of get rid of this one, salvage this and that and these two. Now, the other thing we also need... Oh, hello. Another tailoring family. Uh, no, we can't accept them. Sorry. Bye-bye. Now, one thing I do need to make sure of is that I have a support for a roof. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can have a roof here. This would be good. One, two, three, four, five, six. So like here is definitely needed. So we'll put one there and like plan around that. I do feel like I need to move this storefront and maybe the fireplace as well. So this is, sh these are shelves. Let's see. Want to move those as well. And maybe we have just a whole group of ground storage here. Let's see. Ground storage. There we go. And we'll just do this. Meanwhile, deleting these two. These and probably just all of this stuff i guess we need also it looks like we need some uh barrel rails in here so maybe we put the barrel rails here and there and there like that so we can add some of those uh this i think that's gonna delete that shelving storage so it should be fine looking pretty good oh we're finally sleeping in the bed <laughs> nice we have a tiny candle to yeah, wish us on our way. Having a good night. Hooray. Now, this is a situation that is not great. Uh, apparently, I forgot to salvage these trees. So that's not good at all. Um, yeah, let's do all of this here. I hope we're not deleting anything that is necessary. Now, what you can do for a situation like this is if you want to give them stuff like... One thing that we can do is we can change some of their stuff into mining things, but we don't actually have enough anything for that. Now, these people, we need to figure out why they don't have enough wood. Now, are they not buying any? Do they not have enough money? Let's find out. Let's see. We can see village member. Let's see. Let's just watch them, see what they're doing. Are they going and buying stuff? 
Okay, so the mining family is working on stuff. Blacksmithing family. Ooh, that could be fun, but I'm going to go ahead and say no. Because I don't want to add another family right now. I think we don't have enough wooden stuff for them. I think we really... They're only selling 17 wood rods. That's not good. <laughs> we don't have enough wood. Definitely not. These people can't build their boardwalk. Uh, that is our main problem right now. Let's see. I only have 48 wood and 45 planks. So what I kind of want to do is... Let's see. These are wood and planks. I'm going to give them some wood and planks. Both of these families. Wait. The mining family. Wait. What's going on here? Hold on. Hello? These... They shouldn't be doing stuff. Uh, I don't know. That was weird. Anyway... So they should start mining. Oh, there they go. They are mining right now. Let's see. So they're just kind of like, you know, picking at this, the mine. And they're going to just be mining stuff. So that's a good thing. Yay. All right. Caravan has arrived. Good, good. We'll see what they have to sell. Uh, hopefully it's some wood <laughs> right now. Oh, they've do dropped a whole bunch of stuff. So they're selling milk, swords, barley flour, rice grain ingots, wood, and planks. So that's nice. They are actually selling some planks. So they'll get going here soon. Yeah, this has been kind of a struggle with the wood. I feel like the reason that we're kind of uh, slow is because of the small family. We only have three people in the uh the forager family so that's going to be really rough right now okay so our <laughs> yeah they are a baking family oh all right that's new i wonder why they didn't sleep in the beds that's so very strange to me okay it's tax payment day so before we get to tax payment day i'm going to close up these two walls um so that we can definitely get that going so tax payment day is basically when the villagers wake up they will bring stuff you're going to see the amounts on the left here go up as they bring us all of the things that they've been saving from their Sokaj uh, percentages and they're going to drop it off. So I need to probably move this a tiny bit. And we're just kind of watching things are many things are being delivered, including probably a bunch of wood. Okay, so here's our baking family. Uh, they've, they're size three. There are two people with one, probably a child. But I think, no, we need a milling family first. Oh, they brought some sheep. The caravan, nice. Okay, so what are we selling here? Stone, limestone, iron ore, wooden rods. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, not quite. But we did get some material here, I hope, I think. Or they just used it already. That could be too. All right. So inf insufficient storages for who? Where? Ah, mining. Okay. So they haven't even built these because they cost a plank. Yeah, that's not ideal. <laughs> but what we need to do is hopefully our uh, either we get a second forestry family or something. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do. We might chase these people off if we find a big forestry family coming in. Yeah, we'll just do that. Uh, the other thing that I can do is maybe we give this uh, business, the inn, to someone else. Like maybe the fishermen. The fishermen seem to be doing good, but they're kind of far away. That's the only problem with the fishing family. And they also don't have a lot of people there either. Uh, though mostly the inn doesn't have a lot to do. They do kind of like have somebody stand at the counter. Uh, maybe we give it to our biggest family, which is the Ballard family, because they have many, many people in their family that can do stuff. Hmm. Let's see. You are old, adult, adult. Oh, so the Duravilles, the miners, they also have many people in their family. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give this to the Duravilles then, um, because... I feel like, uh, yeah, we just, we need somebody to take care of it, but <laughs> right now it's not working so well. <laughs> it's like 
these people are spending all of their um we need more people cutting trees and less time building other things but it's so cool to see like what they're selling and what they're doing oh more blacksmiths no nope, sorry bye bye let me just make sure that i'm rejecting the right people uh, so the forge is blacksmithing. Okay, they need the ingots and stuff. So we actually need smelting profession first. You can get them in whatever order you want, of course, but it tends to be a bit easier to, to manage if you get them in, in an order that makes sense uh, or an order that you need them. Because if you get a family where they don't have a product, like if I got the masons before I got the miners, they would have nothing to do. They would literally have to wait for a caravan to sell them some stuff before they could actually do anything in their profession. So that's really rough. That's really, really rough. Uh, also, we have the market price list of stuff. You can see how stuff goes up and down during the day uh, or between days, I should say, and the prices of things. And the caravans usually come up come and they're supposed to buy stuff to make every profession valid and viable. So that's that's one thing that's kind of important. So anyway, I'm hoping that our forestry family will start having a bunch of kids because it feels like they are not like doing much with it. It's very sad. Let's see, it looks like rods, planks, wood. But yeah, we have used already lots of wood and planks making our house and, and other things. So we might actually have to have some uh, masonry stuff done. Maybe we get a mason family to live in one of these houses here. Now the other problem is that if they don't have their cooking stations and stuff built, that is a very big problem. So let's see, this family, Durvilles, let's see, they need six planks stone one stone ironically uh planks and stone looks like it so i'm gonna give them some stuff because i feel like that that's really important so we're gonna grant to the duraville family Let's see they have food they have stone okay so they don't need that <laughs> all right let's give them uh some stuff planks oh gosh they're very short on planks uh, i'm very short on planks let's give them 20 of those and then maybe five wood. I can't really spare much because, yeah, stuff, help. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, there we go. Let's do this. And with the raw stone that I'm getting that I can't actually use, I think I had one limestone or something, I can actually give that to the Mason family at some point and they can do stuff with it. So, all right, so these people, at least they can cook. I might actually have to give the mining family some uh, some meals because we can cook meals in our kitchen and that's that's nice. But in general, it's a strange game because like you can't buy from the market. Like you just can't. Oh, whoops, where, where, hello, who? This is unreal, hello? Why is my farming family starving to death that shouldn't be a thing hello how is this happening maybe i put i think i might put in a let's see they've got butter and they have milk and they have stuff and wool and uh maybe i put a barrel in their house i don't think it's necessary but it might, I don't know what it's going to do. I, I don't know what it's going to do. It's just going to be putting a barrel in their house. Let's put it here, actually. Uh, let's see. Um, mm -mm, remove the plans there. Okay, good. Yeah, they should. They have food. I don't know why they're not making meals. They have everything they need to make meals. So, yeah, they're doing stuff. They're putting, well, they're putting stuff in the box. And they do have food here though. There's millions of carrots and parsnips and potatoes. And I know that I am not getting that food or not all of it anyway. Okay, we have a rope making profession. Uh, you can see here they consume yarn and they produce rope. Now this is kind of a fringe profession because uh, they don't like have anywhere to sell the rope except for the caravan. 
So what we can do is just say, hey, you want to move in? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and say no, I think right now, because I really want to get our wood situation under, under control, because right now we just don't have enough wood. I'm thinking we need to kick out this family or maybe have a second family doing some forestry because right now they're just not doing enough. And I think it's just because of the family size. That that can be kind of a red flag. Uh, if you start the game with too small of a family size of something, you might want to re-roll or whatever. Okay, so let me delete some of these storages. We want to, we were kind of working on this. So salvage these two salvage the fireplace uh, and then I want to salvage probably all of these guys in that row just want to change the way this is organized completely and kind of move stuff around let me also salvage these barrel rails and that's good for now because I want to move the storefront as well All right, here we go. But yeah, it's really hard when like you have you don't have the materials you need. <laughs> and that's really what we're kind of struggling with at the moment. It's very annoying. Okay, there we go. They are moving stuff. Okay, so the the materials that are in there, they oh, we have millers now. Oh, that's actually tempting because we do have the grain right now. Um they're a family size of 2, that's always rough. But we can't, ex let's go ahead and accept them. We'll have the millers come in. I forgot to see if they have pets. We should actually make sure that they have pets, I think. Okay, who is forced to drop stuff? Yeah, of course, the mining, er, they don't have enough planks to make these uh, things. Did they build anything with the planks I gave them? They might've built a bridge or something. <laughs> oh, geez, okay. It's fine, it's fine. All right, so here, let's kind of configure this place. I want to put in the, we need two things here. We need the storefront. Where's that? Here it is. I want to have the storefront here. Okay. Uh, and then, or can I be clever? Can be clever and put it there maybe. And then we'll have the fireplace right next to it. And the reason for that is hopefully they can get warm while they're standing here because the AOE is a bit small. But anyway, that's going to hopefully do for that section. Now, I think I want to build some more, definitely some more storage units here. Let's build some shelves across here. We need to delete this thing uh, and also delete this thing so we can put these walls in here. It's a little bit strange. I'm going to go ahead and put the chests here. We don't need very many of those. And then this can also be salvaged. And then we can kind of get rid of other stuff. Let's go there. Might need more of these guys. So maybe I'll put some more ground storage like here. All right. Looking good. There we go. Things are working. And I can go ahead and put in our walls here as well. All right. And soon we might be ready for a roof. <laughs> we have we have some straw. That's good uh, for roofs. So that could be what we're going to use initially for the roofs. All right. Our woodcutters are cutting a bunch of wood here. Let's see? They're working it. They're doing the things. So soon, hoping that their child is, maybe their child is old enough to help them, I'm hoping. But yeah, having these neighborly areas, they there's a thing where they have to ask for permission to marry. So that is definitely a valid, uh, a cool kind of mechanic that they've asked, they've, they've added to this game. Just go ahead and put these wooden beds back in. There we go. All right, all the beds, all the wooden, all the stuff that we're lacking. <laughs> we have some slight error issues here, not errors, but issues. Yeah, right now I think we're lacking all kinds of stuff. So our miners are sleeping in here right now. And then the millers are also still here. Poor rejected millers. I don't know what they did with the planks I gave them though. 
They don't seem to have done anything. That's really strange. Because I thought I gave them some, didn't I? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I gave them some materials and they haven't done anything with it. So the other thing that they can do is if we have some materials like stone. I don't know if they can build walls out of stone. Let's see. Walls. Okay, two stone blocks. I don't know if stone blocks are cut stone. I think they're probably cut stone. So they have to go through the other people first. Villagers starving. Who's that? Let's see. Yes, it's a farmer. Perfect. <laughs> it's a farmer. Like, what the heck, game? Come on. <laughs> oh, look at those beautiful apples. This is so nice. The apple trees are blooming. Oh, that's so good. And we have pears as well. And they will go and collect all these things. Oh, look at this. We have pumpkins. This is... Oh, no, those are melons. Never mind. We have more millers. They do not have pets. So we're going to reject the family. Sorry, we cannot. But these are also what uh, pumpkins look like. And right now, they um, we have a special decoration that we can put out. And it's the jack-o'-lantern. So obviously, our farmers have got to have like a whole row of jack-o'-lanterns in front of their house. That seems nice. Um, but we can also put them in other houses as well and kind of give some, it gives light to the house. And maybe we put them outside the door, especially the inn. Put one on one side because there's a flower on the other side. Um, and maybe, oh yes, we must have one here in front of the leader's, the, the, the leader's house. Yes, yes, leader's. I wonder why they haven't dug this path yet. That's very confusing to me. Because anything outside a zone, they should, they should construct it. Oh gosh, I put this this way. I always put this wrong. I always keep feeling like it's a cash register where they have space around them and then they, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's different. All right, let's fix that again. Salvage this, please, and we shall fix the thing. All right, storage, not storage. It's production and storefront. Hooray. Okay, so there, this is the right way. Okay. So, do we want to add any other storage in here? Probably. I think we need to add definitely some cabinets. So, we'll just add these here. And then, do we need other things? No protection from thieves. That's an interesting one because we haven't actually seen that yet. We might need some silos as well. And, oh, probably put those there. Hold on. Let's see. Remove these. I don't know if we have space here anymore. Probably not. I guess we can, actually, we can turn those sideways. Oh, sorry. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All right. Let's turn these around to be like this way. And then we can have a couple more like that way. And I guess we could turn, I don't know if it's necessary to turn the chests. This is what we have so far. All right. So this is working well. As things, things are going well. They're like sitting here, tailoring, waiting, doing. We can't obviously build anything else in the tailoring workshop. This is really very kind of depressing. This is horrible. Why do we keep getting millers? This is like the third or third family of pillars? Maybe more. Definitely maybe more. I'm going to go ahead and clear up this area. I'm going to remove these plans because I feel like they're going to use all of this stuff uh, that people need for basic structures. So I'm going to take off the floors for now because I feel like that's really important to not have those. And instead, we're going to try to get, maybe some caravans will come in and sell them some stuff. I'm really hopeful about this. But right now, I'm kind of at an impasse. This is really rough. But one thing I think I'm going to do is I want to plant some trees. And, oopsies, hello. There we go. Let's plant all the trees we can. There we go. All the trees. Yay. So this gives us some tree planting thingies and they're going to go and clear up all the stuff, all of the stumps and rocks and random stuff. And it's kind of cute. We have these little blueberry bushes and stuff as well. I think I'm going to turn off the blueberry gathering. So we're going to just adjust priorities. 
we're going to do production zero on blueberries and zero on mushrooms so that they get more wood stuff done. Oh, no, I don't want to discard. I want this, I promise. Okay, there we go. So let's just make sure that they're going to plant a whole bunch of trees here close to the house so that they can get uh, more, more wood cut. All right, who else do we have here? We have Mace. Oh, Masons. Hey. Hey, hey. It's interesting because I didn't realize that these houses would be like for these kind of professions. Normally I make them just for like town professions because normally I have these people like on the outskirts of town because that's where the, you know, the, the mountains and stuff are. But it ends up that they actually work quite well here. So I'm presuming that the Masons will be quite fond of us. So we're going to just um, kind of, yeah, take them out. Take them over here. Do the things and the stuff. I think we're going to have the Masons over here. And maybe they can have a work yard over here. That's what I'm thinking. So if I build like a masonry, there it is. We can have, they need kind of a large storage yard. So we're going to add like this area, this, this kind of stuff. Yeah, we'll take them. They're four people. They have, oh, they have no pets. Urgh. Okay, fine. You're wanting to come into our area with no pets. What's wrong with you? Help. We need people with pets. Oh, they're so cute. Those little cats and dogs and things. They are so cute. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just delete stuff here. Salvage all this random stuff. And yep. Okay. So let's set them up over here. These are going to be the... Oh, I took Millers in. Oh, no, I took the Millers in and I forgot about them. No. Okay, that's bad. Right. Okay, the, so the... These are Miners. These are... Corsi, right? Yeah, all right. So you take that. Jeez, I completely forgot about the Millers. All right, well, let's let them do their thing over there. And I want to put them... <laughs> God, I can't believe I forgot about the Millers. No, help. <laughs> Uh, I think Millers are going to be here. And we're just going to like build another house for them out here. Now we can also build a bakery out here as well. Uh, the thing about the farm. Oh, you know what? I'm going to build them here. I'm going to add them out here, I think. Let's build a road that goes up this way. And this is going to be the end of the fishing area, apparently. Uh, all right, we can leave some room for fishing there. And then maybe we do something like this instead and cancel the this over here. Yes, cancel that. Okay, so that this area makes it makes more sense to have a wider area and not just like a strip of land there because I think that just doesn't even make sense. Okay, there we go. And we'll add this and I think we'll do maybe try to do two houses here. Let's try it. All right. So let's get our first house here. Do we want to do, oh, we could do stone walls now because we actually have people who can do stone cutting. Uh, that could be good. Maybe we do stone walls. Okay. So those are two stone blocks, the bricks. We don't have bricks. So we're going to do stone, I think here. So let's take this up and we're going to have the millers in here and the others. So let's just try to make uh, a small house. Maybe we have a wide house instead and we'll have the milling going on up here. So we'll try to start out with one, two, three. Sure, we can have an entrance like that and have the cooking kind of go upward like this. And then have the bedrooms this way. I like these kind of L-shaped houses. They're kind of fun too. So remove this one. And then if I have a bakery, maybe we put the bakery out here. Maybe we do that. We'll just start the bakery like here. This land over here. Something like that. Just kind of follow this line. One, two, three. Okay. And then these people are gonna may have, have an interesting house. We'll see. Okay, so let's start out with our door. So we can plan for the bakery already. 
all right let's go with again ground storage oh that's not where i want the door no bad 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 remove remove i forgot i planned this so that i have the door in the center so that there's stuff on either side of the thing now then i want to remove a lot of eh, actually i'll wait i'll wait till i get to the end because we don't know how many trees we want to remove okay let's get back to production storage okay storage we're going to do ground storage here and there and then we do the stuff block then all the other stuff all right cauldron we can put that here there and cooking table actually i can keep on putting it up this wall let's see this is this height okay so that's the end of that wall over there uh all right now then i think that's all we need except for the well and these people are far enough out that they do need a well though we could actually have a communal well right in the middle of here maybe we do that let's do that let's have a communal well right there and that's going to be a community piece of property public area there we go there we are nice and maybe next to the well the other thing that we can put next to this well is the fireplace because if these people can't build a fireplace then they're gonna have to be out in the cold in the winter time so that sounds terrifying but it does happen so they can just warm themselves at the fire put that over there and next we want what do we want I guess we just want beds from here right though I guess we probably need tables and chairs oh my gosh I forgot to do tables and chairs no wonder it fits so well <laughs> whoops whoops okay so maybe we do a a table here for them yeah yeah sure why not we'll do a table there with a bench on this side like that sure okay so here obviously we have the same problem so we'll do a wooden table maybe here like that and then have our benches we can have one there they can walk over the benches so that's okay Go there and there actually maybe we do stone stuff in this stone house so let's cancel those plans <gasps> no oh no it took off the cooking station darn it okay cooking station cooking cooking table all right uh in fact i could put the cooking table down here to give more space for that table actually let's do that and we'll put the table up there so furniture let's try this stone table there's four stone blocks put one here let's put one here okay then we go with stone bench okay bottom bottom top top stone chair side 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 and side okay so that's the thing and then i think we cancel this we want to make that a little bit longer and we take our walls in that direction like this maybe we just take it all the way out or we can make it shorter we can make it shorter let's go ahead and give them some more storage they need a barrel definitely they have the cooking table so that's good um i think we just kind of delete this stone wall here because i think we just make this a long house instead this this map really gives you like you have to build interestingly and i like that i think it's more fun to to have to have a challenge like that instead of just like oh yeah square 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 it's it becomes very boring though i wouldn't mind uh the ability to like blueprint a kitchen for example because like you find yourself making the same kitchen or the same you need the same stuff all the time so it would be kind of nice to have a little bit there with a kitchen but it's not really necessary i think i'm gonna have to actually extend this uh thing so maybe i i delete some of these walls here 
because the kitchen is not big enough. Not big enough. So let's take cabinet. They all need that. And shelves. Uh, all right, and a chest. Okay, there we go. And chest. Okay, now, now we have stuff. And here we can do our stone wall going up this way. And then maybe we have a couple of beds up here. So let's get our beds. Do we want, I guess we do the wooden bed because there are no stone beds for whatever reason, not because they're horribly cold or anything. <laughs> let's put in a couple of beds actually like maybe there. I think that's reachable. I think that should be fine. And here we have, uh, yeah, not really a lot of choice, but we'll go ahead and just put in our stone walls on the edge here. All right, and that one is finished as well. Let's go ahead and delete everything that is not needed. Basically everything in the house here. Gonna clear out a little bit of this area as well. Okay, now I kinda wanna change this area a tiny bit to be a little bit bigger. Maybe this may also become part of that house, I don't know, but I feel like I don't know, we might have some issues with this fireplace next, I don't know, it's, I don't know. I think I'll move the well to the left a little bit. All right, uh, let's just do that right now. Move the well to the left, because I'm thinking four people could be around that fireplace at once, but if the well is blocking one of the slots, that's not ideal. So we'll put the well here. Now this one, we might actually need, we probably, oh, actually we do need, some more uh we need more length on this place because the issue is the beds uh because we haven't built the baking stuff yet so i'm gonna go ahead and leave that this wall open for now and that's gonna be the baker's residence i think so let's see let's go ahead and get our windmill zone this is gonna be windmill land all oh, this whole thing uh-huh there we are all right and you get that whole section you're good to go there you are okay uh let's get a, our floor in the dirt path is fine for now later we can ex actually make this out of stone or something else very pretty but for now this is what we've got so let's go ahead and click this and we need to add a couple of different things for the actual business we need a windmill probably a storefront maybe um it depends i guess if they go to town or not and sell stuff uh because they do want to sell directly to the baker anyway we can put in a couple of windmills we don't need very many of them so we can put them let's put them windmill side or mill side to us because it looks nicer but we want to get in a couple of things here let's get in a couple of silos also another door put in a door right here so they can go outside quickly uh all right so then ground storage also so that is used for um the different grains and stuff and then the silo is all right i don't know actually let's see the ground store do they really need ground storage hold on let's see oh yeah rice oats straw whatever silo is for corn grain rice grain and hops um and then what stores flour? We need to find that. The flour. It's not cabinet. It's not a bookcase. It's not a chest, is it? Don't think so. Let's see. Simple meal, good egg meat. Uh, 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 barrels. Surely it should be some one of these things. <laughs> Unless I missed it somewhere. I'm not quite sure now. This is like, huh? Looks like storage boxes will hold flour. Oh. let's see firewood flour ah oh, yes it's the ground storage that holds the flour perfect all right so i'm going to go ahead and leave that at that so i'm going to put in the windmills here now i think these operate on the idea that you leave them in there are some machines that you can build for your villagers that you kind of wait uh to oh actually let's assign this and this goes to the lacy family yes we'll charge you i don't know 20 percent. sure 
so sufficient stuff oh yeah still them yep because we have no no wood <laughs> no wood is happening in our colony at all oh no <laughs> normally the woodcutters are the richest family in the whole colony so it's very strange for them to be like barely barely cutting any wood I am feeling the need though to like maybe we need to start making uh uh roofs for stuff but anyway there let's keep on working folks keep on going I might have to toss them out in favor of other oh, so cute the little doggies oh can pat them as well oh so but anyway, yeah, this is going to be rough for these people, like, trying to do stuff. And I can't even do anything. I have some stone, but I don't have any wood of any kind. This is, like, really rough. Really rough. So that's not ideal. Let's see. Our farming family is doing well. Caravan arrived. Hooray! I like the caravans arriving. Hunters! You know what? We're going to reject them. We have not enough materials. I just can't. I'm just like, nope, we can't. Sorry. Okay, what are they selling? Let's find out. Blueberries, butter, cabbage, meat, stuff. Oh, okay. Ingots and stuff. Hello? Oh, here they are. So they're selling wood and planks. Hooray. I hope we buy all the wood and planks from them. Please, people, please. No, we did not buy any of it, unfortunately. I don't know why our people are not buying stuff, but they should be. They should be. Most of them should have enough money. Oh, they are buying some stuff. Look, our tailors have finished stuff. So that's another thing I would like to look at. I don't think we adjusted the priorities on stuff. So we definitely want to make clothes. We can make the cape, which is, looks like a hat, robe. Um, right now they're making yarn for and silk too. That seems okay. You do make the silk out of yarn. So I'm not really sure. Let me check the uh, thing here, the, the recipe. Let's see, one wool equals six yarn. Okay. And then the loom, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, yarn, three yarn equals one silk. Oh, another tailing frame, right? No, bye-bye. Okay, so let's see, we have to figure this out. So three yarn is one silk. Meanwhile, okay, three yarn is one silk. So six yarn makes two silk. But our priorities are different. We want to make, we need to make at least six yarn to, to two silk. But I think we need to make this up higher, <clears throat> like more yarn than silk. Let's try that and see, because right now we don't actually have a use for silk. Uh, it is basically used in fancy beds. That's what we have. Um, so it's better to have more, more yarn in that case, though the silk, which I guess is just fabric. I think that should be changed to just fabric instead of silk. Um, but yeah, you need yarn and silk to make the clothing. So right now we're not making anything but just regular plain clothing. I'm not going to make anything else because the fishermen need yarn to continually kind of keep their their nets in line and stuff like that so yeah okay so insufficient storages who's that okay yeah sure inaccessible what is inaccessible oh sorry we apologize for your inconvenience but what i'm going to do here i need to salvage some of the trees because they are actually inconvenient let's take this off and this just like this whole line and there, there we go. That's better. Okay, nice. But we'll see how they, they function. I'm kind of worried about our colony. Like we've, I don't even have enough to finish my, my manor. Help. Uh, all right. I do, oh, we need to change this as well because I don't want to keep building this area. So let's uh, make this a, a bakery. Let's see, windmill bakery. Here we go. Bakery is going to be all the way over there and just kind of remove a little bit there. That's fine. And I'm going to make that no building zone. And mostly that's just so we don't waste wood here. Uh, since we definitely don't have any bakers right now. <laughs> 
it is nice to like watch the seasons change and you can see the different crops as they come up and and all of that i'm really excited that we are getting yarn we are selling the yarn um and the tailoring family is actually making stuff that's so cool it's fun to see like everything kind of coming together and they're oh they made two capes that's nice or no maybe they probably bought those capes actually now that i think of it they have two silk so a lot of the economy of course is driven by what you uh what you make them build as in they're not going to buy extra wood well they are going to buy wood for firewood but they're not going to buy like silk unless you give them a a special bed to place really so we can actually look at that if we want to the do noble double bed is six silk so if our people want to live like the lords they can buy that <laughs> which is nice you can also get an upholstered chair that's kind of cool an expensive wooden table is like one gold ingot that's where you use the gold on okay what do we have here brewing family oh i would love to have them but i feel like we have not enough wood so we're gonna have to just reject everybody coming in we might have already grown too fast i mean we have three houses that people really can't do much with this is very sad um all right so we're gonna get we need to get some wooden blocks here and ground storage for uh, our masons to be able to do stuff with so they just use these regular wooden blocks uh to pound the stone there we go and then i'm gonna get the ground storage in here let that happen so yay there we go okay so hopefully they can get something done but yeah this is a bit rough right now now we also need to make sure that we have enough storefronts here that's uh that can be a bit of a challenge or, or not maybe not a challenge uh as per se but more of like uh if there's not enough then all of your families can't sell their stuff but it does look like some people are getting materials that these walls are slowly going up so that's good Let's see, are these people building their house at all? Mostly not. They're just sleeping out in the cold. It's so sad. It's like, no, <laughs> sad times, you know? It's just really, really rough. Man, this is such a rough start. Oh, I'm actually like, oh, maybe I should restart this YouTube series. It's like, oi, sad times. Well, these people are making planks at least. Yeah, that's good. That is good. Everybody else is too, too sleepy. Nope, but this dude. This is Mary Fribois, uh, which is nice, yeah. Um, foraging, let's see, cooking meal, village member. Yeah, they're, they're working, they're working it out. But yeah, these people like have barely a skeleton of a house around them, it's so sad. But that's okay, she's making yarn here, which is kind of, oh no, he's making yarn, pardon me, he has a beard. Um, though that is not necessarily indicative. You never can tell. Okay, making yarn over here. You know, there have been people with hypertrichotosis or trichosis. I forget what it is. But, oh, foraging owns animals. Family size four. Oh, do I switch them out? Mm -hmm. I want to see I have villagers book. Okay. These people have three people. This person is an adult. They have very low skill in foraging. Do we s chuck them out? I'm so tempted to chuck them out. Uh -huh. Let's see. Strength increases attack and life. Wow, are they attacking trees or what? <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, what do we do here? This is the first foraging family we've seen in a long time. Family so they own a pig. Does that help or hurt? I don't know. I think I think the Fribois family has had enough time to prove themselves. We're going to chuck them out. We're going to chuck them out and this we're going to let the family of Estony come in and do things. Cuz I feel like these people have had enough time. All right. Bye bye. Sorry. Cancel ownership. You are now given over to Estine. Right. So, fee farm. Yes. 
And the other family will be out, destitute. They might have to leave. I'm not sure how that happens. They might just have to die. We apologize for the inconvenience. All right, so let's just give this to the Estony family. There you go. All right. All right. I hope this was a good decision. Let's check and see what they have. The Estenay family has two, uh, two people that are younger. They're both adults, though. So they do foraging and cooking. They're okay. They're not doing too bad. So, yeah. Right. I don't know what... <laughs> this feels bad, but <laughs> we need more people. We need more workers. And the, the other like, huh? How? Like, where do we live now? So I don't know what I'm going to do about them. Maybe they'll just leave on their own when they find out they have like no property. They have to sleep in the inn or I don't know what's going to happen. But they're like, hey, look at all this cool stuff we just got. <laughs> they're quite excited about this situation. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I don't know if this is going to... I think it's going to help. One extra person is a lot. So anyway... I think that might be uh, might be the end of this episode because um, we'll have to deal with our shame. We'll have to just <laughs> deal with our... What do you think about this, by the way? I want to hear from you. Um, you know, the Fribois family is like, whoa, Kewas, how could you? Oh, the cruelty. Oh, the suffering. And I'm like, hey, where's the wood, man? Where is the wood? And they're like, we don't got it don't got it so anyway at the dawn of this new morn thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time